SparkNotes offers a useful definition. Themes are fundamental and often universal ideas explored in literary works. While these ideas are often indexed as noun phrases, a literary work's exploration of ideas cannot be expressed via nouns alone. This Course Hero page illustrates the distinction. The thematic topic, expressed as a simple noun phrase, serves as the heading. The literary work's treatment of the topic, the theme, is expressed in full sentences below. Themes cannot be simply listed as nouns because literary works express ideas in a variety of ways, and no simple noun phrase or statement sums up the entirety of a creative text. This is true even when there's an apparent moral to the story. The 567 lines of Gob in the Market are not all neatly condensed in Laura's final lesson, There is no friend like a sister, just as the six preceding parts of the rhyme of the Ancient Mariner are not encapsulated in the Mariner's pithy message to the wedding guest. There are multiple messages and meanings in literature because even very short works explore more than one idea. Blake's brief poison tree, for example, addresses anger, deception, the ill effects of suppression, and even the nature of the Judeo-Christian God. The exploration of these ideas also relies on inference. Literary themes are implied through formal structures and figurative language. They are not openly stated. They must be uncovered and explained via interpretation. Consider Hamlet. The revenge tragedy obviously deals with vengeance. The famed play, though, doesn't provide a simple take on that important topic. It does, though, show us that Hamlet's quest for vengeance ends in the death of all the central characters, and some minor ones as well. Is this carnage a function of Hamlet's fatal indecision? Does Polonius's death subtly suggest Hamlet is as guilty as his father's killer? Might Ophelia's suicide say something about the all-consuming nature of vengeance? The play clearly presents vengeance as a powerful and primordial force, but it does not supply a simple overview of that force, nor does it provide a pat solution to Hamlet's plight. Instead, it stages the complexities of a moral dilemma, providing a scenario where the audience can draw its own conclusion based on the supplied evidence. Now, there is a reason why the same list of thematic topics pops up in study guide after study guide. We can all agree on a given work's thematic questions. And many of us will come to roughly similar conclusions regarding the thematic import of a work. That said, our specific articulation of a work's theme will always be individualized because it depends on the textual evidence we choose and emphasize, as well as our own interpretive skill and perspective. Literature does not stand the test of time because it provides simple solutions or uniform or universal answers. It stands the test of time because it poses important questions that encourage the exploration of the human condition. Keep this in mind when you discuss theme, and always outline the contours of a creative work's exploration of an idea when you are asked to explore what a work may mean.